Hello. In this short video, we are going to do two things. Number one, we're going to demonstrate how facial detection can trigger a video call. And then number two, we are going to show how to set this up. So let's get started. In this short video, we will look at different scenarios to use the WebEx Desk Pro in a medical facility. So in this first scenario, scenario number one, we will use facial detection on the WebEx Desk Pro to trigger a video call to a doctor. So in this scenario, I will also wear a mask just to show that we can use facial detection with a mask. So I'll put my mask on. As you can see, here's my mask and let's give it a shot. So I'm gonna walk up to the red line. And as you can see, I'm now talking to the doctor. Hello, my name is David Scott, and this is an overview of using the macro editor in order to enable facial detection on the WebEx Desk Pro. And I have been working with uh, Pete De Palma on this, so just to give some credit for helping to work through some of these line item parameters. So this video does not assume any JavaScript experience. Most of this is straightforward, but some of the items that we'll take a look at are essentially best practices. So basically in the web UI of the WebEx Desk Pro, we're just gonna to go to macro editor. And I have one macro here with all the commands in here. And we're just gonna go and step through these. The one thing I will say is that the top part here are the best practices and at the bottom here is the actual logic that will enable the actual facial detection. And so the best practices, we'll just go ahead and walk through them. The first one is basically turning proximity off and we wanna do that so that we don't have somebody say in a hospital accidentally attaching themselves to the device, right? So we want this to be essentially a kiosk where people walk up to it and it's not designed to be paired with as we would say in a normal office. We also wanna turn off the WebEx Assistant, right? So the WebEx Assistant is great for the office. It doesn't really have place in a hospitality area where people are walking up to register for a hotel room. Another thing would be, again, a best practice is to turn off the settings menu. The reason why we have this is so that somebody doesn't walk up and factory reset the device. So if we take a look at a screenshot here, I want to basically hide this. So here we have hide settings menu. So we want to basically change this to hidden in order to prevent somebody walking up and factory resetting the device or changing things that we don't want to be changed. So I will change this setting to hidden. And then I will save it. And if I go back here, I'm going to take a screenshot and we'll validate that it's gone. So now you can see that it is gone. But down here, I want to get rid of these icons, right? These buttons, we want to hide them. So let's go ahead and do that. So here where it says user interface features hide all, let's set that to true. Then I'll save this and then we'll go back and take a screenshot. And now you can see that the buttons down here are gone. So this is perfect for a kiosk type environment, they'll walk up to the facial detection, etc. Now, if you did want a button to be visible, these are all commented out, but you could, at a line item perspective, you could enable, for example, the end button, um, or if you want to enable one of these buttons, you can, but this is commented out in the code just for readability. This line item, always off, is referring to the encryption indicator. So when you're registered on-prem, as say they might wanna do in a hospital, the encryption indicator will automatically be visible in a call. And so you'll see a big lock icon that is unlocked. 
So you can set this from the default to auto to always off and that will hide the encryption icon. So when you're on premise, you might not have the requirement to do encryption. So you can easily set this to always off. The auto answer is just a convenience. This is not required, but you can set the auto answer to on and then standby control. So this is one of the things that it's a best practice. When you upload your custom background, so in our case, it's a little bank icon, basically you need to turn the standby control to off. And the reason why we want that is so that the person in the bank doesn't walk up to it and they see a dark screen, right? So we want that screen to be on. So now let's look at the actual face detection algorithm. So everything you see beneath here is referring to the facial detection. So starting with these two, this is the people count out of call is set to on and the people presence detector is set to on. These are required for this to work. And then this block of code basically indicates that if the room analytics logic of the desk pro sees someone in close proximity, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this call if not in a call which will take us down here. And what this does is basically make sure that there isn't already a call in progress. If there is a call in progress, then it will not use facial detection to dial this number. So what the reason why we have this down here is because we don't want to inadvertently place a call on top of a call or have two concurrent calls happening, right? So I hope you enjoyed this brief overview. We basically can use this macro and we can go ahead and use this in vertical scenarios such as hospitality and healthcare, et cetera. Thank you.